Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my review of the Beats Solo 2 wireless headphones. A big thank you must go out to Curry's PC World for sending me these out to review. You can find a link to their website in the video description. Now these are Beats very latest Solo 2 wireless headphones. They're available in a range of different colours and the box actually represents the colour of the headphones inside. Very nice packaging as always. We've got an inner box which is coloured in this sort of black colour. It says here, change the way you hear sound. So a bold statement. And inside this box we get all of the additional cables that you need, including a audio cable with a built-in line remote control. We also get a carry case inside, a neoprene case with a zipper, just big enough to hold the Solo 2 wireless headphones. And these actually fold up to a nice compact size, as would be expected with these, and they fit very nicely inside the pouch. Now the actual build quality on the Solo 2s is pretty much the same as other headphones in the range. We've got nice grades of materials used. It says wireless on the side here. We can also extend the size of each of the sides of the headphones very, very easily. And of course, we've got the Beats branding across the top. Now these ear cups are very, very nicely padded. They rotate on pretty much all axis. We've got a nice amount of adjustment for different head sizes. The coloured padding on the ear cups is very, very comfortable as well, as is the padding across the top of the headband. So they've done a good job all round regarding comfort factor and build quality. Now, if we look across the bottom of the headphones, we've got two sort of different inputs. On here, we've got the input for the audio cable. There's also a little LED light just under here, which comes on when we turn the headphones on. And then on this ear cup, we've got the micro USB charging port. And again, there is a cable supplied inside the box. And we've got the little power switch here. And we also got a battery level indicator. Now, when we push and hold this, it turns the headphones on. We have got three little LEDs lit here, plus uh, an LED lit on the actual button itself. And if we push that again, it just gives us a, a charge indicator come up on the actual headphones. Now, the LED on here, it was probably the only position they could place it. But when you hold it down, the only indication that you get that it's turned off is the fact that this LED on the activity side actually stops flashing. So if we push and hold for about two to three seconds, and then that turns the headphones off. Now you can use them either wireless or wired. There is a difference to the audio quality between the two, and I'm gonna come on to that next. Now, audio quality, that's what's important when it comes to headphones. Some people love the audio that Beats actually produce. Some people hate it and they slate it and say it isn't very good at all. With the Solo 2 wireless headphones, using them in a wired mode, so with that cable attached, they produce a really nice sound, a nice rounded sound. A little tiny bit bass heavy at times, but nice vocals, nice trebles, nice amount of detail. Switching over to wireless changes things a little bit. I find that the sound doesn't appear to be quite as full, quite as full bodied, if that makes sense. It doesn't lose any of the detail, not by any means, but it doesn't impress me quite as much when I'm using them wireless. And I think that's purely because you get the occasional audio dropout if you stray too far away from the source device. Now, I was pushing these to really test them. So I was going beyond the 10 meter sort of range of the headphones. So a little bit unfair, when they were in close proximity to my iPhone 6, they worked absolutely fine. Very, very good quality audio and pretty much identical to when I was using them wired with that included cable. They're very comfortable to wear for prolonged periods of time. As I say, they've got a nice, decent amount of padding. They're nice and lightweight and I really like the styling. The audio, not to everyone's cup of tea. These aren't audiophile headphones. They are a fashion statement, and I think they per sound perfectly acceptable. So thanks again to Curry's PC World for sending me these out to review. These are the Beats Solo 2 wireless headphones. Thanks for watching. Please do hit like on this video, and I will see you all in the next one.